Leopards, or Panthera pardus, are one of five species from the genus Panthera. This genus includes other big cats, lions, tigers, jaguars, and snow leopards. Leopards appear stockier than other big cats, with relatively short legs and broad heads. They stand about 28 inches at the shoulder and weigh on average 100 pounds, or 45 kilograms. They are one of the smallest big cats. Their fur is a yellow cream color with distinct black rosette spots. This makes them incredibly well camouflaged in trees and dense foliage. Their color and markings can vary across the globe depending on the habitat. Those living in the African savanna have lighter colored coats than those living in the rainforest. Melanistic black leopards are known as black panthers. Leopards are powerful cats. They can jump 10 feet into the air and leap 20 feet forwards. They can run at 36 miles per hour and can hunt prey much larger than themselves. They are nocturnal hunters that use their strength to haul prey up into the relative safety of trees. There, they are less likely to lose their kill to scavengers and other predators. They eat antelope, warthogs, guinea fowl, and rodents to name a few. They are adapted to a variety of different habitats and have been around for a very long time. Fossil remains of leopards have been dated back to the early Pleistocene, approximately 600,000 years ago. Their range is the most widespread of all the big cats, occupying niches in Africa, the Middle East, and Asia, including China, India, and Eastern Russia. Leopards do not live in Australia. Of some 300 mammal species found in Australia, nearly 90% of them are unique to the country or continent. The reason for this lies within the timing of the continent's separation from Antarctica and Greater India. Australia became isolated from the rest of the world before big cats even existed. As Australia moved towards Indonesia, some animals such as bats could fly a relatively short distance into Australia and establish themselves there. Others, such as rodents, drifted across the sea on debris and landed in Australia. Big cats, however, could not make the journey. Tigers were once present on the Indonesian island of Bali but never moved further east towards Australia. Australia did once have a predatory cat-like animal. It was called the marsupial lion. As the name suggests, this was not a true lion or cat. Instead, it was a marsupial like kangaroos, koalas, and wombat. It was a similar size to female lions or tigers. The unusual animal was a ferocious predator that became extinct shortly after the arrival of the first humans in Australia. We know that Australia has its own distinctive flora and fauna owing to its isolation from the rest of the world. But could leopards survive there? Are the habitat and climate suitable? Are there enough prey species? And would they be under threat from predators or in competition with any of Australia's unique animals? Leopards occupy a broad range of habitats, from deserts and arid regions to savannas, grasslands, and lush rainforests. Their tolerance for a wide variety of habitats is a reason for this species' success and its widespread range across the globe. Leopards are the only big cat species to live in both deserts and rainforests. In Australia, these habitats also exist. Leopards would feel at home in the vast arid regions of any of Australia's 10 deserts. It could survive in the rainforest in the country's northern and northeastern tips. It could thrive amongst the temperate grassland savannas in the southeast. Forested areas would provide ample cover for this elusive cat. The great western woodlands in the country's west, or the Mediterranean woodlands to the south, provide both shelter and an abundance of prey species. Leopards are also at home in mountainous regions such as the foothills of Mount Kenya in Africa. Australia offers incredibly diverse mountainous landscapes, from the scenic Blue Mountains and beautiful Flinders Range to the snow-capped mountains of the Australian Alps. Less than 10% of Australia's landmass is made up of mountain ranges, but this rugged terrain and isolated wilderness would offer refuge to leopards if they were introduced there. As well as a variety of different habitats, Australia also offers many different climates. It is the driest inhabited continent on Earth. More than 80% of Australia receives less than 24 inches of rain each year, 
and some places receive only three inches of rain. Some of the desert regions would be too hot and too dry for leopards to survive, but they could live on the fringes of these deserts or where there were water sources nearby. The temperate, tropical, and subtropical regions, however, could provide the necessary rainfall for both leopards and their prey to thrive. Leopards feed on multiple prey species. They are able to hunt different animals depending on their habitat. In grassland savannas, they hunt medium-sized ungulates such as antelope. In the mountains, they feed on rock hyrax and porcupines. And in the rainforest, they catch small antelope and primates. Being excellent swimmers, leopards also catch fish and, when food is scarce, they will eat rodents and beetles too. In Australia, there are no wild primates or native hoofed animals. Black buck antelope were introduced in the early 1900s and are now considered a pest. There wouldn't be enough roaming free for them to be considered prey for leopards. It is likely that leopards would adapt their hunting strategies to prey on some of Australia's marsupials. Kangaroos, wallabies, wombats, and koalas could all be considered potential prey for a hungry leopard. Smaller animals such as possums and rodents could also be hunted by leopards. One animal that leopards would be familiar with in Australia is the crocodile. In their native habitat, they sometimes compete with crocodiles for prey and space. They have been shown to actively hunt and kill crocodiles in Africa, so they would likely do the same in Australia. As well as the availability of prey species, we need to consider the competition that leopards may face. In Australia, leopards would find competition from dingoes. These wild dogs are Australia's top land predators. They were introduced to Australia by Asian seafarers about 4,000 years ago. Dingoes occupy a similar habitat to leopards. They are found in deserts and coastal regions, forests and rainforests, temperate moorlands, highlands and wetlands. In Africa, leopards live side by side with lions, cheetahs, wild dogs, and hyenas. These predators all occupy a similar niche and prey on the same species. If leopards were introduced to Australia, perhaps they could live side by side with dingoes. There would likely be enough mammals, birds, fish, and reptiles for the big cats to feed off and plenty of space for them to establish their own territories. The biggest threat to leopards, if they lived in Australia, would likely be humans. In some places, like South Africa and India, leopards live in close proximity to cities and urban areas. They can be found near Johannesburg and Mumbai in these countries. Leopards are in sharp decline across the world. They are poached for their beautiful fur and body parts, which are used in traditional Asian medicine. Their habitats have been destroyed by human activity, building and urbanization, and wildfires. There is a risk that fragmented populations of leopards could be lost altogether. If they were allowed to roam Australia, would they face similar perils? And what of the local fauna already found there? Introducing a new apex predator that prey species aren't familiar with could wreak havoc on the fragile ecosystem. Although we believe leopards could survive in Australia, there is a reason why they aren't there. We must try to preserve the habitats and ecosystems in which they do live and help this species thrive so that it can be enjoyed by generations to come. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time. time, time.